Thanks for doing this, Brian. And remember, just act like a normal, well-behaved, non-talking dog. Non-talking? Yeah, just bark and stuff. Bark? Jeez, it's been a while. Let me give it a try. Brack. Brack? What the hell is that? I'm finding it. Damn it, Brian, I knew you were gonna screw this up for me. I thought you wanted to help. Help? I'm not doing this because I want to help. I'm only doing this so I can have a front row seat when you crash and burn. Okay, first of all, it's incredibly insensitive to say crash and burn to a pilot. And second, how dare you? How dare you, Brian the dog? You know I'm right. You're gonna get tired of the sex, and then you'll move on to the next one. Oh, because you know everything, right? Well, you're wrong, Brian. Okay, shut up. Here she comes. Hi, Glenn. This is Dexter. Aw, and who's this little guy? Uh, uh, this is Harvey, named after Weinstein. Uh, because you can see his balls when he answers the door. I may be dating myself, but in the 90s, the funniest thing you could do was show people your balls. <laughs> can, can you start talking now, please? Sorry, I couldn't hear you because my dog was licking my ear. Oh, thank God. Uh, this is my dog, Bob Weinstein. He's man's best friend because he's very good at keeping quiet. Do you mind if I take five minutes in the parking lot? This is Spot. 